So I believe I might be done with this. Let's go ahead and take a quick tour. So first, if we look here at the needle, it is designed to sweep just right past the numbers and it's meant to house the actual previous needle. You have to snip a little bit off here and snip a little bit off the back, but it's a press fit and allows you to change out the needle. Um, it was great for prototyping. On the final, I might just go ahead and glue it into place. But if you look, that can easily be moved, maybe, right here. And you can see where the sweep of the needle will be. So there's that. Uh, some of the last things that I did here on the actual gauge face is I brought up the letters for each of the different words here on the sides and the levels down along the bottom to stand out and up a little bit more. I also added in lighting holes for four LEDs that will shine down onto the gauge face. I'm going to use white LEDs, but I'm just going to wire in and uh, parallel or series. I haven't decided yet. Moving to the back feature here, I have designed this to try to use as little supports as possible. So there will need to be a little bit of supports, but if I turn off the tack back, you can see it just prints flat on a bed, as well as if we take off the front, this also prints flat with just supports for the different pieces back here. The last additions I made here were these gussets over here that really increase the strength of this piece, making it much less likely to snap on you. As we go here, uh, this is the piece that will hold the tachometer in place. It actually just holds the guts of the old tachometer. It slips right into this piece here, and then this is the back cap for that, keeping it all in place. It's just a very thin cap that gets screwed onto the back of the tack front housing. So we'll go ahead and show you that right here at this hole and at this hole. So I believe that is it. I hope you've enjoyed this process so far. I know I have, but I'm also ready for this to be done. I've printed about 10 copies of this in different forms and different things and cut them up and painted them and tried out different things. If this prints well in PLA today, I will move over to ASA and print from that. Thank you for watching. If you like what you see, go ahead and smash that like button. That helps me out. And think about subscribing.